Hello and welcome to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today, I'm not out rock hounding. Instead, I got a lot of stuff to cut and decided to make a cutting video. So Tim's here with me. We're gonna get some things cut today. We got the saw and everything set up right over here. So let's get a, get to cutting. We've got a ton of different things. Wood. Agate. Agates. Um, agate. We got some more of those shell fossils. We've got oh all kinds of stuff. We're just gonna start cutting. We're gonna see what we got in here. We decided to start off with some regular bird's eye. So, yeah. So, a little bit more bird's eye. It's an interesting little something in the middle. I don't know, stick or something. So we cut this piece of horn coral lengthwise. And it's interesting. It's got some nice red in the middle of it and some nice little patterns. So here we have one of those cubes of limonite that I went out and dug for and decided to cut one open. And look at that. You can see where the iron oxide, which is limonite, is rusting in and replacing the pyrite. And you still got plenty of pyrite in this one. Cut open another cube. And once again, more pyrite. This one has more pyrite that hasn't been replaced. So we're cutting some jasper that we found at that one location across Utah Lake. And look at those colors in there. It's quite pretty. Let's try it right about here. Very nice stuff. We got some uh, kind of agate. I don't remember where we found this, but <laughs> it's interesting so we got here a nice little piece of agatized wood look at that very nice there we have another nice little piece of wood kind of brown going through it that's what it looked like on the outside and look at the inside so here we have another piece of wood and look at the inside of that one. Oh, that's beautiful so here's some uh, pink petrified wood and interesting it's got a little bit of brown in the middle of it it's pretty cool here's some more of that pink wood the other side broke but this side looks really nice so here's another piece of wood and look at that that looks like wood <laughs> here's another one of those fossils from bird's eye and ooh, did it turn out. Wow, that's one of the better ones we've found. I'm very surprised with that. Here's some more of that pink wood. That's what it looks like when you cut it this way. Interesting. Still nice. So here's another piece of wood that we found at Nephi. And look at that. That's pretty. That's quite nice. This little agate right here and then you can see some nice lines in the wood here we have a small piece that came from the uh, blue forest formation in wyoming interesting very dark but you can see a little bit going through it still overall a nice piece here's another bird's eye another shell not as good but still a decent shell so here's some more wood this we i think found in nevada Look at the inside though. That's quite interesting. Oh, I like that. Here's another piece of wood. Once again, I think we found this one in Nevada. Look at the inside. That is some nice stuff. You can make quite a few pieces out of this one. Here's a piece of Wonderstone. So you can kind of see what it's going to look like in it. And unfortunately, had a fracture going through it. So there's that fracture. Fortunately, this one held together. The side did not. But still, it's Wonderstone. There's another bird's eye shell fossil. Not that great. But still, it's a shell fossil. So this was a piece of jasper I found out in Nevada once on a contract job. And uh, the inside looks like it's looked like right here. It's neat though, it's still pretty neat stuff. 
some more of that pink wood. It's not as good as some of the other ones, but still nice in its own way. So yeah, here's another nice piece of wood. And that's what it looked like inside. Nice red in it. Another nice piece of wood. Looks pretty nice on the inside of this one too. Good pattern and color. Decided to finish by cutting one of the uh, larger ones that was kind of really rusted. And as you can see, sometimes it's rusted to the point where there's no pirate left. That's it for this cutting video. A lot of good stuff. Plan on making some more cutting videos in the future. We have a lot of stuff to still cut through. So I'm going to try and do those more regularly, post them kind of during the week. And that way you guys can see uh, what some of this stuff looks like inside that I've had just sitting around here for who knows how long. So yeah, we'll plan on some more cutting videos. And until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.